Hello, welcome to my channel. Hazel is back. As we promised that Hazel would have 500 likes, we will bring her back for more recipes for Diwali. And she actually caught more than a thousand likes. So today she is here to show us some more recipes. Okay, now I'll end you all to my favorite niece, Hazel. <laughs> Thank you, Mosi. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back and we're going to make a coconut ice no cook um, recipe. So what I have is some vanilla essence. I've got uh, two cups of icing sugar, 500 grams of um, desiccated coconut and a tin of condensed milk. I've got my mold. I'm going to use a square mold and we're going to make three different colors of um, a coconut ice. So what I start to do is I take a teaspoon of um, vanilla essence. I just put that over the coconut, desiccated coconut. I add in my icing sugar. I just mix that around a little. And then we just add in the condensed milk. And then we'll mix that. So I've mixed up the one tin of condensed milk, but as you can see, it still looks a little bit dry. So what I've done is I've taken a, uh, from another container of um, condensed milk, I've taken out, I think about another, say a quarter of that. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more, and then I'm gonna mix it and see how it feels. because you want something to set in the mold. You don't want it to be too dry. I'm just gonna use my hand. So I've mixed my um, coconut ice. We've separated them into three different uh, containers and we're gonna make different colors of them. So I've got my gel coloring. I'm gonna make this one into a green color. This one in lilac and we'll make this into an orange okay back to the mixing so i've colored my coconut ice i've made a lovely um, electric green a lilac color and electric orange so we're going to use a cookie cutter, the Malaysian cookie cutter, and uh, we're going to, I'm going to use the green color first and I'll show you how to use the cookie cutter and mold the coconut ice and then we'll move on to the other colors later on. So what I do is I take the, the, the uh, round ball of um, coconut ice, I put it into the cookie cutter and I press it down and then I pull it up and push out the coconut ice and pull it out and there you go. Okay. So what I do is I make a ball take out the cookie cutter like so place the round ball into it and press it down to form the shape. Press it hard so that you get a full coverage. Then you pick it up and you press it out and you peel it out. And then you've got a perfect coconut ice. Okay. I'm just going to make a little bit of a bigger ball of the coconut ice. I'm going to use a square cookie cutter. 
I'm going to place it into that groove and I'm going to press it down like so, but just press it down hard enough so it forms the pattern. You pick it up and then you use your hand and you press out and you get your coconut ice. Just press a little bit harder on the edge so that the edges can form properly. Okay, so you can just place it down like so, put it down over, and just press around. You pick it up, press it out, and then your pattern is formed. And then you can go on. Molds are just one method of making the coconut ice. What you could also do is um, spray some um, spray and cook into a Pyrex square bowl and um, uh, press down the coconut ice onto it and put it into the fridge to set. So that's a plain and simple way if you don't have these, coconut, these cookie cutters. So to decorate these for just for the round ones, I've got some gold glitter cubes and for the flowery ones, I've got some bronze that you can just color and add on. And for the ones that you're setting in the fridge with a Pyrex bowl, you can do whatever coloring you want as well. Hi, so my um, coconut ice is ready. We've uh, molded them and we've decorated them. So these coconut ice can be kept in your fridge. Um, I normally make them about a week in advance before Diwali. They stay for a long time, as long as you keep them in the fridge. Um, and yeah, this is the end of our videos. Thank you. We come to an end of another special day with Azel. With the just in time for Diwali, making up more sweet uh, items for our platters and giving most of them more uh, ideas what's to be done for Diwali. So this is our final uh, platter that we've made for Diwali, it's our chana magaj, coconut ice and barfi and yes that's the end of our Diwali special. Thank you very much Isa and I've got a little Diwali gift for you, I hope you enjoy. Thank you Mosi. <laughs> Thanks for watching and don't forget to watch Isa's other recipes for the Diwali and a very happy Diwali from all of us in advance. Thank you everyone. Thanks for having me on your channel, Mosi. You're welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>